Welcome to the library's tutorial on exporting your bibliography and your reference list from EndNote into a usable format. We're going to start already having logged into an EndNote account um, and the way to the easiest way to do this is to go over to format on the gray toolbar ribbon and then go down to bibliography. There are a couple of other options but the bibliography one is the easiest for styles like APA and MLA. So I'm going to select that and then on the bibliography page, it's going to ask me a few questions before it exports the um, list I want. So the first one is, what references do I want? So I can either select them individually from the enormous list that I have, or if I've been smart and grouped my references using the EndNote groups, I can just say, I want everything from my EndNote demo group to be in this reference list. So highly suggest using groups because it makes it so much easier to create a bibliography. Next, I need to select the bibliographic style. I have already selected a bunch of favorites, so I only have a limited list here. However, there are several hundreds, possibly thousands styles that EndNote um, Online includes if you signed up through the library's um, account, so you may see a lot more here. And in that case, again, highly suggest that you select your favorite so that you don't have to scroll through an endless list of things. So I'm going to use APA 7th. And then the last is, and notice like, how do you want this, this file? Um, and the options are HTML, um, plain text, and rich text. HTML just opens up a new browser window or tab. It has things formatted so you can copy and paste, but the formatting doesn't always translate over and you can't edit this until you copy it into a Google Doc or a Word document or anything like that, okay? Um, so my preference is actually to either get it as a text file or rich text file. The text file strips out any type of formatting, so I would have to go in and put in hanging indents and put in, um, you know, uh, spaces in between lines and all that kind of stuff. The rich text file does a little bit of that for me, so I'm actually going to choose the rich text file and then click save. It's going to export out a file here and then if I open it up it's going to open it as a Word document because that's the word processing program I have on my computer and then I can go ahead and edit this if I need to and I probably will need to. EndNote is not perfect. All right. So first thing I notice is that in APA style this all needs to be double spaced so I can do that really easily. Then the next thing to do is to kind of look to see if there's any incorrect information that you know came over with those particular um, you know, the format of the citation. So for example, this one here, this third reference, this is not some by someone named, you know, clinic with a first name that begins with M. This is actually coming from the Mayo Clinic and note was trying to be smarter than me. So I need to fix that. And then again, I can easily uh, cut or cut and then paste that style or that citation down into alphabetical order because EndNote does alphabetize this for me, which is really nice. Um, another thing to look at is, so for example, there might be an issue like in this uh, third reference here where supplement 10 might need to be formatted differently. Again, I'm going to look at the APA manual to double check that. And then finally, if things, if citations were entered into EndNote either by importing them or you put them in yourself incorrectly for whatever reason, you might have to go through and actually look at things like um, capitalization. So in APA 7, anything after that first uh, word in a title um, and then maybe after the, the start of a su subtitle will need to be lowercase, not uppercase. So I can go through and continue to change this, um, so on and so forth. Um, after I've fixed everything, this is the point in time where I would, you know, copy all of this and then paste it at the end of my paper or my presentation or my poster, whatever project I'm working on, that's there. So again, this is a rich text file, so it opens up in Word, but you can also easily use this as a Google Doc. So again, I've saved this to my Google Drive, that same list that I just exported so that I can go through and edit it as a Google Doc as well. If you have any questions about exporting from EndNote, please ask a librarian. We'd love to hear from you.